just got this in the mail and I'm eager to open it. I wanted to see what it's in. This is the compression bag. Um, it can be a lot more compressed than this, but this is just how it came. I've never opened this before. ECWS military sleeping bag system rated down to negative 20 degrees. Something like that. It's very expensive. I bought this used. It just came in. I'm very interested in some hardcore camping gear, survival gear, what if the power goes out, that kind of stuff. So I just want, I saw this, I had to have it. All right, let's open this up and see what's in it. Three piece military ECWS sleep system. All right. First of all, it doesn't smell bad. It smells kind of like just any old sleeping bag. It looks, it looks and feels new. This is one of the pieces I don't remember which piece this is, but it's one of the heavier pieces. You don't actually need all three pieces to go sleeping. Um, this is the heavier piece. This is the lighter piece. So I think maybe this would be kind of the lighter... Uh, this is the outside bivy. This is supposed to be waterproof. This is the outside piece. Kind of like you would put this on. All right, guys. So I'm more proud of this than any other sleeping bag I've ever had. I've had a, I have a mummy bag in there, and my feet were like this, and I didn't like it because it felt like they were banging up. But let's take a little bit closer look at this. I would say the foot foot room is wider here. I'm, like I said, I'm really proud to have it. It has kind of a stale, stale smell to it. I can kind of smell it from here, but that's just the nature of military gear. All right, we're going to get some close-ups. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about how it works here. So, you got three parts. It's basically three bags. A bag within a bag within a bag. And you have to determine how cold you want to go. And I'm not going to go into great depth in here. There's other videos out there that do that. There's no need to do that. But let's just let's just assume that we're just it's not that cold of a night. You got your patrol bag. This has that shiny kind of uh, Gore-Tex kind of feel to it. It's got a kind of a canvasy feel. I'll do a close-up here in a minute. But So what it has is on the inside you have receiving buttons and then the outside it has buttons for itself. So the, the outside of the bag will, if you want it to, can snap. These, these don't go together super easy. So this out to, outside Gore-Tex bag zips. It zips. And if you want to, you can even button it down even more, probably for rain protection. Every other one it looks like here. Probably not necessary unless you're just literally laying in the rain. Are you really going to do that? I'm going to want to have some kind of mat underneath me, which means I'm going to have a tarp underneath me and a tent over me. This is just meant for, I can choose however cold I want to go on my ham radio adventures. So we've got our outer bag here, and you could, you could, if you wanted to, sleep in this. It's a little rough, though. So let's take our patrol bag. Now, when I first got this, it looks a little bit rough here, but it tells you how it works and everything. Modular sleeping bag patrol. Instructions for use. So this is thin. You can kind of imagine. It's kind of like a nice little blanket, really. It's a blanket, but it's not thick. So, if we were to stuff this in here, I think we would go down to 50 degrees, 40, 50 degrees and be fine. Now, as I mentioned, the inside of this bag will receive the button on the outside of this bag. So, now you don't even have to do this if you don't want. You could just zip up. You could take this and zip up from here. Look at these heavy zips. This is a used bag and everything seems pretty good. So if you wanted to, you could sleep just like that and be fine. You get cold, you push this over. If you're really cold and you're really freaked out, you could do the outside of this. You could 
do the outside of this. The outside of this all the way up. Now there's no need to really do that, but let's just suppose it's 45 degrees out. I've got a pillow and something in here. I'd be pretty happy probably. 45 degrees in a tent, this is all you'd need. If you get down to 30, 20, you're going to want more. So how much room do you have? If I brought my legs straight out, it'd be about that wide. Plenty of room. Like I said, that other mummy bag I have, my feet were like tight and I did not like that feeling. I like to be able to get my legs separated when I'm sleeping. All right, well this right here is a nice sleep. I'm actually warm right now. So the same exact thing, this bag, you gotta kind of figure it out and make sure you're lined up. This is just another bag, which you could use separately if you wanted. You could get rid of this if you wanted, or you could keep it in there. Let's keep it in there. And then I can smell that stale kind of like, it's been, it's kind of been stored for too long smell. I don't like it, but I like this bag so much. It's so real, you know? All right. I get to see, you know, it's really late at night. You've done your radio stuff. You're tired. You're ready to get in. Leg room is, I got about, I've got some room in between my feet, which is important to me, as I mentioned super hot this is this is going to be too hot for most most things in the midwest to be honest anyway good night y'all i am i am blazing hot right now blazing hot about to start sweating way way too hot but i wanted to show you guys my i'm so proud of this yeah, you won't even be able to breathe in this thing. You can go around your head twice. Let's see. See? I just zipped that up super tight. And then let's pretend like you have no tent at all. And it's raining. It's a downpour and you've got to get dry. You've got Velcro and Velcro. Yeah, that's right. It's now a body bag. Now, that's actually an unlikely scenario that you'd be that cold. It'd be more likely that you'd be here in mid-America, maybe 30 or 40 degrees. So let's... Now I know why you do this. When you get in and out, that the whole bag on the inside wants to come out. That's why you would pop these in here you see and you see my zippers and buttons what I would do is bring the bag to me it feels really nice it's not too hot bring the bag to me then bring the bag up move the bag not yourself Really wishing I had a short sleeve shirt on now. Pretty tight in here. Seriously, if you're in this bag right now, you're wishing it's 30 degrees out. You're wishing it is because I am blazing hot. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to use this in my next outdoor ham radio. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting on a tent. I got the Polish Lavu. I think that's how you say it. A tent and I got a tarp. I'm going to use this, the Polish Lavu. Lavu, is that how you say it? And then I'm going to do a ham radio video outdoors before it turns spring. So thanks for watching. This sleeping bag is awesome. I paid full price for a used bag. Um, anyway, 